We look at a live look here. There's the Portsmouth Seacoast sign. And uh, you can see wet roads, and it really is going to depend on exactly where you are over the next 72 to 96 hours. So right through Christmas, we're all going to experience really different types of weather. So you can call a friend and say, hey, what do you got? And they're going to be like, it's raining. And you'll be like, it's snowing or it's freezing rain. And right now, pretty, pretty amazing. Look at this. this. You don't see this very often. The, the snow is ha hugging the mass border. So, you know, you're up into New Hampshire. It's snowing. You get down into Massachusetts, just a few little flakes of snow here and there. What should be happening this afternoon is that the snow will actually back down a little bit. So I'll stop this motion right towards the tail end of the commute. And at that point, the models are saying, hey, some of that snow that's up in New Hampshire is going to back down. And that's when we should see that coating to an inch of snow. Not a big deal. But if you are traveling this evening, be aware some light precipitation could be out there causing some problems on the roadways. Then we get a little break until the wee hours of tomorrow morning. We'll jump it ahead to just before sunrise. And the pink shows the cold air that's come down to the surface, rain coming out of the clouds, and freezing upon contact. So that's the freezing rain scenario, and that's 6 o'clock in the morning. We'll jump ahead, maybe a little break, and then maybe a little more through the latter half of the morning into the afternoon, especially inland areas west of 128, 495. And then that whole area changes over to rain before ending Saturday night. So that's Saturday night, maybe even a burst of a downpour or two, and then we clear out for Sunday. So backing it up to today, temperatures will stay just below freezing until the very end of the day and towards the evening. What about impacts on the roads? Again, it depends on where you are. Are. But northern areas today have that plowable snow, New Hampshire, Maine, Vermont. Interior areas later tonight and tomorrow, we've got the freezing rain. Also into Boston for a little bit. Remains to be seen just how bad it gets on the roadways right in the city. And then we've also got interior areas for that hazardous travel. Power outages isolated if we get enough of the freezing rain. So again, the timeline, there's the snow. There's the chance of freezing rain. This is through the overnight hours as well. That northerly wind brings in the cold air tonight and that's why we've put the mention of freezing rain even into downtown Boston but as we head for tomorrow then the warm air comes back in warm in quotes not really gonna be that warm just getting above freezing and then that freezing rain is relegated back into a very small area for Saturday evening and Saturday night on Sunday colder air comes in drier air and it looks pretty good if you want to head up to the mountains it's gonna be a fantastic ski weekend temperatures in the upper 20s on Saturday with snow some sleet no real freezing rain up there and becoming partly sunny a gorgeous skiing day on Sunday whatever your slope is and by the way Monday well let's take a look another storm off the coastline rain snow line where does the storm go how strong does it get could be several more inches could be a plowable snowstorm Looks like a lot of snow, again, for ski country, the way things are looking like right now. So, wow, they're off to a banner year, and if you picked uh, Christmas week to have a house up there and go skiing, great job. Temperatures over the next few days, not that cold. Behind that Monday storm, we do start to get a lot chillier, and we'll really get cold as we usher in the new year. Chris?